you want to know what's so interesting is that myself and Kid Gravity and shout out to KG did a two about a two and a half hour live talking about Caitlin Clark's so-called fans and y'all saw it whether y'all were in the live when it was happening or when we were you know going over you know if you caught the playback the replay and we said a lot of their so-called fans are so fake and phony and this is another example of what I mean by when I say fake and phony because remember I told you I had made that post on X and y'all saw it It was a seven word post just saying Caitlin Clark is a bust deal with it and I got completely bombarded with a lot of people in my comment section in that thread so mad and so pissed with telling me all kinds of things but y'all already saw what they said it was just absolutely ridiculous what 90% of them were actually saying and then this came out right here in which I'm about to talk about right now involving Pat McAfee now y'all have heard me talk about Pat McAfee in the past it was mainly surrounding the whole Brett Favre situation which ironically and not so surprising the media is being hushed and quiet about yet again because I do be checking to see if anything updates have come and they rarely bring it up as if it's just a fart in the wind and Pat McAfee was on his show and on his show he referred to Caitlin Clark as a white bee. I'm not gonna say the word, but y'all already know. Some of y'all are already aware of what happened. Some of you may have already seen the video, but yes, there's a video out there where he actually called this woman a white female dog. And I'm just sitting here saying to myself, here's a white man calling this white woman out of her name for whatever reason, yet they have managed to come at us us black people who have a criticism of maybe her or even her so-called newfound fan bandwagoners let's just call it what it is for just simply critiquing her we don't call her out of her name we don't misgender her like they did with a lot of the other black plays i mean y'all saw the comments that's why i went through them so y'all could see and they was calling those black women lesbians and studs and men and all kinds of other things calling them b words as well just because we had a criticism of her or her or, or her fans yet pat mcafee a white man came out of his mouth on his show and called her a white b and said it unapologetically well he he said it unapologetically at the time until he faced a little bit of heat and then he came back and he apologized quote unquote for it now what's very interesting about it is when he was on his show he was the only white face in the room he was surrounded, I believe, around three other men, and all three of those men were black men. None of those black men in there called Caitlin Clark out of her name or even agreed to what Pat McAfee said. They probably chuckled a little bit more so out of disbelief that he actually had the nerve to say it. But they weren't laughing so much and agreeing with like, yeah, she is a white bee. Now, let's flip this. Imagine if Pat McAfee was a black man, and it could have been any black man, and called her that on their show, or a show. It didn't even have to be his show, or podcast. You would have had every form of media, whether it was local media, national media, hell, at this point, it might have been international media, coming at his neck about this they probably would have not only made him apologize they probably would have said that they need to strip him of his show and probably pay a fine towards her and all kinds of things or, or make a donation to the indiana fever all a, a charity something you know that's probably what it would have did think about what happened with nick cannon it would have got to that point but fast forward like a day later Pat McAfee ended up coming out and apologizing for calling her a white bee. Like, literally, he called her a white bee. And it says that he apologized for calling Clayton Clark that word during a Monday show segment over whether race has played a factor in the WNBA rookies meteoric rise. He is quoted as saying, I shouldn't have used white B as a descriptor of Caitlin Clark, no matter the context. Even if we're talking about race being a reason for some of the stuff happening, I have way too much respect for her and women to put that into the universe. And that's what he put on X. He also goes on to say my intentions when saying that it were complimentary just like the entire segment, but a lot of folks are saying that it certainly wasn't at all. 
that's 100% on me and for that I apologize and then it also goes on to say that he wrote that he sent an apology to Caitlin Clark as well but that's crazy and I'm gonna read to you what the quote in which he actually said he said, what we're trying to say is what the WNBA currently has is what we like to describe as a cash cow. There is a superstar. But what I, I would like the media people that continue to say this rookie class, this rookie class, nah, just call it for what it is. There is one white B for the Indiana team who was a superstar. So that's the quote in which he's giving. And I saw what he did there, but the fact that he just called her a white B right there on it, he could have framed he, he could have framed it another way. But let's be real here. Even though he apologized for it what he said initially before the apology that's how he felt that is exactly what was on his mind that was like what left his mouth when he called her that that's what he was feeling at the moment the apology he's only doing that to save face i'm just being completely honest and i truly believe that's what it is what he said prior to that when he called her that that's what he was feeling in, in his heart he could have framed it a different way but he didn't he could have just said he could have just said her name but the thing of the matter is, if you take away him calling her that, you got to ask the question, was he lying? Like, let's be real here. A lot of the people all of a sudden now carry, care about the WNBA because Caitlin Clark has come into it. But they had to create a whole bunch of controversy around it. it this is a buildup. People think that she just kind of like popped up and boom, they just through the machine behind her. No, this was two years of a buildup with her and Angel Reese. That's why I never. That's why when Angel Reese came out and said, you know, it's more than just about Caitlyn. You know, it's also about me too. Then of course, you know, when she said that you had the usual suspects or the bandwagon is a Caitlyn Clark trying to come at her again. Like this woman can't win for losing, but as far as I'm concerned, she's going to continue to win, and that's all that really matters at the end of the day. So while he should not have called her a white bee. He wasn't wrong in the assessment in which he said. He also went on to say, he said, is there a chance people just enjoy watching her play basketball because of how electrifying she is, what she did and what she stood for, how she went out about going what she went for? Maybe, but instead we have to hear people say we only like her because she's white and she's only popular because the rest of the rookie class is doing what they're doing. Well, that's a bunch of BS and we think the WNBA, more specifically their refs, need to stop trying to screw her over at every single turn. What you have is somebody special and we're lucky she's here in Indiana. So that's another Another part of the uh, quote as well but yeah so the thing of the matter is is Pat McAfee is, uh, is obvious between the both of them is that Pat McAfee is a white man Caitlin Clark is a white woman if this was Pat McAfee saying this to a black woman this probably wouldn't even gone completely they probably wouldn't even blew this up the way that it should have been and if Pat McAfee was a black man saying this, oh, you already know, I already told you what would have happened if it came push to shove, if that's what, if that was the case. But like I said, I feel like he only apologized because, you know, he, he probably was in the moment and forgot where he was at, but he bumped that he knew where he was at. He just felt compelled to say it. And the, here's the thing. If that's how he talks in public on on his show, which is, you know, nationally seen, you can imagine what he's saying in private when the cameras are off, when there's nobody there, it's just him or whoever he's having conversations with. What he said initially before the apology is how he felt in that moment. The apology, that's just the cover. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> 